This is Seeking Catharsis, a real victim's chronicles of covert narcissistic abuse. Today I want to talk about double standards. I um, have been dealing with my husband's propensity to change his mind from day to day, week to week on where he stands with pretty important issues Um, whether that's agreeing to to seek a divorce um, with me or agreeing to provide me with the opportunity to have equity in our business or paying me more money um, or even agreeing that I'm a co-founder those um he seems his position on those those uh those topics seem to change from week to week depending on how he's feeling it's very frustrating but most recently one of the things that i noticed which uh which has really really bothered me is this disparity in um and how money is spent and this idea of security, stability, um, something that I've not had in a very long time since we were married, um, specifically. Um, I've left my home with him and um, have just been in flux trying to find my my footing again, um, trying to, to get stable. And... Um, when I made the decision to come back here, I had done so not in a vacuum. He he had asked me to come back months before, and we have been working on a path to reconciliation, um, which required clinicians and other types of work, and um, that was something that we were going to work on as time went on. But it required that I find my way back here and have a stable place to live that was comfortable and safe and um, would allow me to to really heal uh, more effectively. I'd done quite, I've done quite a bit of healing um, in the past year and a half. I think spending a lot of time alone has caused me to be more introspective. It's forced me to 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 think about ways to improve my life because I had so much free time um, that didn't have the uh, distractions of having other people around me. Um, but it was also quite isolating. And um, I'm a human being. I am I am an introvert, but I am a human being, and I need to be around people that love and care about me, even even if I sometimes feel the need to withdraw. So um, when I agreed to work with my, um, my husband on the relationship and to attend discernment therapy, I had set a few things, um, a few non-negotiables up. And one of the things that was very important to me was that if I were to stay in the marriage with him, we would have to work out a path, on a path to cohabitating. To me, I had given up way too much in this relationship. I was agreeing to share my partner because he claims to be polyamorous. I agreed to forgive him for his past infidelities. And I agreed to come back and work things out with him um, all in a very tactful way where I'm not sharing what he's done with people in our circle. I'm just kind of silently suffering and allowing him to maintain his golden reputation while I hurt in the background and play the role of supportive partner and doting wife. Um... That's just something I, I need for me in a relationship. I I want to live with my partner. Um, I don't think that's anything unusual. Um, 
it's some I I enjoy companionship with my significant other and with people that I consider close in my life and um I don't think that was asking for too much but I did make it clear that that was something that was a non-negotiable for me to remain in the marriage and that that was something that we'd have to start discussing or work towards if if this was going to be our new relationship. So when I was making my way back, um, I was doing research from where I was and found a building that I thought was really cool. Um, I'm here now. I really love it. It has a place for me to work. It has a lot of facilities that are really more like a resort and it allows me to to take care of myself in the way that I hadn't been able to in the past year and a half. It allows me to pamper myself and to feel pampered and to feel relaxed and happy. And that to me was very important after feeling so unhappy and isolated and feeling like I was living in a space that was not anywhere close to what I was used to or wanted to be in. Um, And so I had asked him if he would be interested in living there with me, um, you know, as a, a trial run, you know, once we eventually cohabitated to see how we could live together again um, in a different setting, in a different with different expectations. And um, because I was across the country and I knew I was going to be moving back, um, I had asked if he would be willing to tour the building and give me his input and look at some of the larger apartments that had enough space for the two of us. And um, he agreed to do that. And, you know, I I gave him my whole spiel of why I thought it'd be a great building for us. There were a lot of places for us to work and have separate space, but also we'd be looking at a larger apartment with true bedrooms and separation so that we could still have a bit of privacy in our space. Um, But also there were plenty of meeting spots and relaxation spots among you know, various floors. So I thought it was a um, a good idea. So he went ahead and toured the building, toured the units. Um, we kept losing, um, we kept losing connection when he would try to do the video chat with me. Um, and he wound up just taking videos and pictures or maybe just videos of some of the apartments Um, But he never shared them with me. And um, it was getting close to when I had to find a place. It was about a month before I was uh, hoping to leave where I had been staying for the past year and a half, or year rather. And I really wanted to see the the space. I wanted to see if it worked. And um, he claimed that the building had very basic... uh, upgrades and amenities and he asked me why I wanted to spend so much money on rent Um, and he claimed that the apartments that we were looking at were too expensive that they were the the same cost as a million dollar home and that he would much rather buy a home and um and that he was planning to put an offer in on a home that he had found um, that, of course, I didn't know about at the time that he hadn't spoken to me about, that he hadn't even, you know, as his wife, as his partner, who he's supposed to be reconciling with. Um, it just was news to me. And so I, you know, listened to him and I said, OK, well, you don't want to rent. I thought you didn't want to buy something because of where we are in this relationship you didn't want to lock us in and he's like no I want to buy but I'm going to buy it in my name and and so that kind of made me pause because I'm like wait are we married or are we not like what's happening 
with our relationship where you're 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 planning these you to buy homes um and not com- consult me not ask me how I feel about it not share the information before I tell you I'm moving into a rental or I'd like to move into a rental um so long story short we wound up coming to a compromise um he made it clear that he didn't want to spend as much money as um as as was available uh, for the apartments that we were looking at he didn't think it was an intelligent choice um and so you know i started to think about my options and i knew that i could not afford to qualify for um an apartment in the building that would be suitable for me um, and him um, should we cohabitate um, alone. So I couldn't, I couldn't afford that on my own. Um, and so I thought about my options and um, I wound up flying back home to where we, where I was going to be living and touring the building myself and looking at smaller units and, um, found a one bedroom that was a good price um considering all the amenities and all of the um all of the uh I mean the building is fabulous um and it was a brand new apartment and they were giving all of these concessions and you know I am very familiar with the market and and knew that this was a good idea um just considering what they were offering so when I came back to him and asked him um, if he would, if, you know, what he thought about a smaller one bedroom or two bedroom where we could work together and, you know, figure out and save money by having one place, but with more room, um, he told me he didn't think I needed to worry about a, a small, a larger room uh, apartment and that a one bedroom would be fine and not to worry about him. And it just made me feel like he wasn't, moving in the direction that I wanted him to be moving in if I was going to be talking about reconciliation. But I listened to what he was saying because it was telling me that he didn't really have any plans to come and join me here. And I wasn't going to force the issue because what was important to me at the time was for me to get back for me to get comfortable and for me to have a place to stay and to not really worry about trying to convince someone to come live with me or to to want to be with me it wasn't that wasn't the the main objective it was really about getting me back here and getting a place that was mine and safe and comfortable and so I said okay well then I'll just get a one bedroom that's fine um and just know that this place is here you know if we get to a point where we are ready to do this cohabitation thing and you know we don't have a larger space we don't have a home a house that's purchased yet or ready for us yet this will be here and then he throws in a uh, another caveat and that is well I don't want to be locked into this place for 12 months or 14 months um, which at the time the concessions that the building was giving was two to three months free with a 14 month lease or something it was something ridiculous and awesome at the same time which I was like this is a great deal and um he didn't want to be locked in so he only agreed to a six-month lease and um that's what I got and so I got locked into a six-month lease thinking that that six-month period would be the time where we would be figuring out our housing situation we'd be working towards cohabitation or um, dissolution at this point and I would at least have a place to stay um, without locking him in to a long period of time so that we weren't having to spend so much money out of pocket fast forward um, this past weekend um I had a conversation with my husband about housing and um, he informed me that he was renting out the place where we used to live um, and that he was going to be moving out and my first question to him was, oh wow, um, where are you going to go? 
And he's like, I'm 